today we're making some cheerful Christmas decor. Keep watching. We're going to start off with this little box sign that I got at Dirt Cheap. It's a little mangled. We're going to use some Rust-Oleum chalk linen white paint to cover it. And here's a brush that I got from Dollar Tree. And then some wrapping paper that came from Target. So we're going to start by peeling off as much of this paper as we can. Funny thing about this paper, it was hard to get off. And there seemed to be some type of a weird patchy plastic type I don't know if it was like a Mod Podge sealer type stuff that was on top, but it was very patchy. This was terrible, but it was either to do this and then sand for twice as long or just try to sand the whole thing off. I wish I had electric sander for this because this was a pain in the behind. But I wanted to get a smooth look, put the paint on, so had to do what I had to do. No complaints though, this is a Christmas video and we're supposed to be merry and bright. So here we go. This is my sanding block that I get from Dollar Tree. I think it's actually called a foam sander or something like that, but you can get it at Dollar Tree and they work really well. This one's old. You can see here that it's kind of flaking off a little bit on the table. Okay, do you see this? This clear stuff that it keeps peeling off. I, I, It wouldn't come off in a solid piece. It just it would sand down and there would be more of it and I don't know. And I don't know where this originally came from because it was thrifted so I don't know. I would warn you against it if I could. But got it down as smooth as I could get it and I'm going to go in here with some chalk paint and cover this. I did lay it on pretty thickly and then I let it dry and then put another coat on top of that and I just put it in front of the fan and let the fan blow on it for a little while and that helped dry it pretty nicely. Getting the top and the sides all the way down to the edge. You could always sand in between your coats if you want a, a smoother look, but we're going to cover this up with the wrapping paper so it won't matter. And the second coat does make a pretty big difference, as you will see in just a moment. So once it's dried with the second layer of paint, it, it looks pretty good. I'm just going to take this wrapping paper and I'm going to trace with a pencil around the edge of the box. It's easy if you use a pencil to go ahead and erase that off of your white paint if you accidentally bump it when you're tracing. So I'm going to cut out this square or this rectangle and it doesn't have to be exact because once I put it down I'm going to sand it off. So now we know that it's going to give us full coverage. And it was important to do the white paint because the paper is a little on the sheer side. It's not very thick. All right, I'm using just a glue stick here. You can use any type of glue stick you want. I believe uh, they all pretty much work the same in my experience. Be sure that you get all the way to the edges and the corners because you do not want your paper to peel off. Glue sticks work well because they don't leave bubbles and messes and you don't drip it everywhere. You don't have to get out an extra brush to do it. So since I started using glue sticks and double stick tape, it has saved me a lot of cleanup time. Now just put this down here and make sure that you are getting it centered, reasonably centered, and then you want to smooth it out. I'm using my wooden ruler that I got from Dollar Tree and just going to give it a few swipes just to make sure it's nice and smooth. I'm 
then I'm just kind of pressing down on the edges there. That doesn't really matter all that much, but I just wanted to be sure that the glue was making contact with the paper so that I got a nice smooth surface with no peeling. And I have chosen this little ornament to use as my embellishment. You can use any type that you want, really. It doesn't matter. Whatever works, whatever fits on top of your wooden box and coordinates with the paper that you choose. Now I want this to be raised up a little more off the surface, so I'm going to use these little wood block pieces that came from Dollar Tree in the Crafter's Square and just give it a few little, few little dots. And while that glue is sitting up, I'm going to take my block sander and just begin to remove the excess paper off the edges. You've seen me do this before. And if you've tried it and you love it as much as I do, please let me know in the comments because I love this. I look forward to doing this when I am doing my paper crafts. Kind of crazy, huh? I'm telling you, it's a joy in the little things. Now that we've got that down, I'm going to take a little of this checkered ribbon, make a little simple bow. It's a shoelace bow, I think is what it's called. I'll get it. I'll get the name for you one of these days. Very easy to tie. And I'm going to check my placement and then go ahead and dovetail those ends or chevron or whatever you, whatever terminology that you want to use. Up the bow a little bit and decide where I want to place it. So rather than putting it on top, I want to put it behind here and I'm going to add some greenery. The little pick came from Target, but I got it from Dollar Tree. And the ribbon is actually, I think originally from Hobby Lobby, but I got it at a thrift store. So I'm going to put a bit of glue down and make sure that this pick sticks in that. Put the bow on top and I'm just going to use my ruler to keep from burning myself because my fingertips were not in reach. My little finger protectors. Just going to press that down for a moment. And these berries are on wire, so I'm just pulling those up a little bit. Get them some dimension. I don't want anything to be laying flat. And now I'm going to put down the ornament. Just going to put some glue on the blocks that are in the back. Carefully put that back down where I had planned for it to go. Now there's a lot of red going on up there, so I want to break it up a little bit. And you can see there on the bottom left, I have some white picks. Those also came from Dollar Tree a few years ago. And I'm going to just put a little bit of that right in that loop. And because it's a rectangle box, it will sit up and you can use it sitting up on your bar or your desk or wherever you like. Do you like this? I think it's cute. It's easy to make. Thanks for watching. I surely hope that you subscribe. Got lots more Christmas things coming. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye.